Hi guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Natasha and I know it has been a while, but today's video is a part of the My Home Apothecary series and this collaboration is hosted by Mountain Grandma and myself here at the Budget Preppers. There will be a live giveaway at the very end of this, so make sure that you follow along on the playlist. I'll link everything down in the description box below. We have a wonderful list of content creators who are going to be participating in this. So if you are interested in just expanding your own home apothecary and um, seeing how others are making tinctures, salves, teas, medicines, this is a wonderful collaboration to go and start watching. So today I am processing my infused oil. I've already strained it out. So in this, we are making homemade Neosporin and this had some fresh yarrow, some lemon balm, and some fresh comfrey. So this has been steeping for, let's see, 614. So a good amount of time now. And um, I have just strained off as much of the oil as I can. For mine today, I have also some fresh beeswax. This is from my friend right down the street. You cannot get any more um, fresh local than that. So I got a big bag of that and I have put some into a little mason jar and we are going to double boil um, this down so that way we can use that. I'm gonna add in a little bit of almond oil and a little bit of coconut oil just so that way it has a smoother kind of texture to it. And this is completely optional, but I do not really enjoy the smell of this by itself. So I am going to add in some lemon essential oil, some tea tree essential oil, which has great antiviral, antibacterial properties, and a little bit of bergamot essential oils. So. The essential oils are extra. You can just use the leaf and um, infuse it this way and this will turn out wonderful and have great properties and be just like regular Neosporin from the store. But I'm going to just use this more so for scented purposes because my kids really do not like the scent of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this um, boiled down, melted down, so that way we can start pouring it into our little containers. I got these off of Amazon. I'll link those down in the description box below as well. And then we will start putting this in and letting it set. All right, so I've got my coconut oil and my beeswax melted down. Um, I did the double broiler method um, instead of using the microwave and I have about one ounce of the beeswax and then I have probably a teaspoon and a half of the coconut oil. So now I'm going to add in a couple drops of the sweet almond oil. You can usually find this in um, a local grocery store. You used to not be able to, but now you can. So I'm gonna add a couple drops of that. I'm gonna go in and we're gonna add in three to five drops of my tea tree oil. I think that was about six. We're gonna add a couple drops of the bergamot oil. Gotta be very careful with this because a little goes a long ways. And then a little bit of lemon oil. Now I am just using the um, cheaper brands for this, um, for this kind of recipe. Um, I'm using the Now brand and it's just cheaper. You can find it on Amazon or um, my local Ingalls carries the Now brand. So that's what I'm saying. I can also get this at um, my local grocery store as well. And then I'm going to add one tablespoon of my infused oil. All right, so 
so we're going to give that a good mix real quick so that way it doesn't make our beeswax hard and then we are going to just pour it into our little tins. The jar is slightly hot but not too bad so I'm not 100% sure if this will fill all four of these tins. I'm hoping so. One, two, probably get three. About two and a half. Now I'm going to save this jar and when I do a bigger batch, when I get some bigger tins, then I will use the rest of my infused oil. But today I'm just kind of doing a smaller batch. And these are actually going to go into, one of them is going to go into my bug out bag and I'm just going to label it um, antibiotic ointment. And then the other one I'm actually going to put into the bag that I take with me in the car. And recently we've been using that a lot as the kids are in sports now again. So um, cheerleading and t-ball and things like that. So. We have been carrying around a first aid kit and um, we've used it a lot, um, not only for our own kids, but I do help coaching for my daughter's um, cheer team. And so there are 90 girls on the field approximately. So there's always boo-boos and stuff that seem to happen. But you can see this one here is already starting to there we go, the camera focused. It's already cooling down. These do not take long to cool down. I'm gonna give it probably an hour. And then this one's cool enough now. You can pretty much, yep, just like that. So if you got a boo-boo, I actually have where I nicked myself the other day on the fencing. So just rub a little bit of that on there. And there you have it. You have homemade Neosporin, clean ingredients, nothing crazy. Um, with the lemon, mm, with the lemon and the tea tree oils in there, it gives it a little bit more of a boost and it smells nicer. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you follow along on the playlist and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Okay.